So we just filmed our live haircut, and would you like to show them the back of your hair? Not really. <laughs> James but. is still in shock that I inscribed a cross on the back of his head. I'm in shock that I did it too. Look at that. <laughs> and a couple of their bald uh, spots by accident, sorry about that. I can't definitely, believe we're showing this to the world. Definitely the worst awful. haircut of his life. <laughs> <laughs> Not true. But um, today we're so excited to be with you guys. We are going to talk about flirting for Christians. This is a video that one of you actually requested and we're going to talk about it. It's going to be a short video for you Bible scholars because you may know that flirting is not something you're supposed to do. So turn with me in your Bibles to 4th Peter 3.15 where it says, under no circumstances should you flirt. Okay, yeah, 4th Peter is not a book in the Bible, just in case you were wondering. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the Bible doesn't actually say not to flirt, but I think a lot of times as Christians we think it's wrong to flirt, but I think flirting is all about what you make of it. Like a lot of things in life, it's like you can do it in a way that's healthy mm -hmm. and kind, or you can do it in a way that's unhealthy and really selfish. Like for example, when I was in college, I did go through a phase where I flirted in a very selfish way. I would just flirt with everybody and I wasn't interested in any of these guys. I just wanted their attention. I desperately wanted to be noticed. I wanted to be liked and I was basically mm -hmm. using them to make myself feel better about myself. And that was really hurtful to some of the guys I did that with because some of them thought, oh, she's interested and they were interested and that hurt them. And that was an example of selfish flirting where it was all mm -hmm. about me and what I could get from it. On the other hand, there are ways that you can flirt that are really appropriate. Like for example, when we started dating and I flirted with James because he couldn't figure out if I liked him. And so I was like flirting and flirting more and more like, do I get the picture now? I like you. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. it's a little slow on the uptake. Yeah, and so um, basically flirting is all about what you do with it and what you make of it. But if you're wondering, how do I flirt? How do I let a guy know that I'm interested? Here are five ways that you can flirt as a Christian. Tip number one, compliments. You can tell a guy, I like your hair. I like your outfit. Don't you love his hair? <laughs> Maybe a I poor love example. Your hair. <laughs> that is a self-serving comment. <laughs> Making compliments points out that you're noticing something about any person. So certainly it's not something that you only do to people you're flirting with. Mm -hmm. But I think compliments are a way of showing positive attention. Because yeah. in many ways that's what flirting is. That's saying, hey, I connect with you. I like you. Yeah, and so letting them know, like, I see you, I'm noticing you, and I want you to know it, that's mm -hmm. basically what compliments can do. And tip number two, or I guess you could say flirting advice number two is inviting. What I mean by that is like uh, suggesting that you guys go do something. It could be with a group of friends, it could be just the two of you, but suggesting like, hey, do you want to come along to this thing that my friends and I are doing, or starting a text conversation, or whatever it is, just like letting them know that you want to spend some time with them. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. is a way to let them know, like, I'm interested in something here. And Another great way to flirt, tip number three, is to show interest in the things that interest them. Yeah. Whenever you are talking about another person, they're definitely going to have into hobbies and interests that are different from yours. Yeah. And you, even though you might not necessarily be really interested in a certain kind of video game or a certain kind of books or stories or movies or outdoor activities, right. you could learn a little bit about and express interest in what this guy is doing. And I'm not saying that you should become as obsessed with whatever this guy's interests are, but you can learn enough to be able to show interest right. and to have a conversation. Yeah. This person, the guy can do most of the talking, but you want to be able to at least be able to listen and understand. It's a great way to keep a conversation going yeah. and connect with someone. Tip number four is physical touch. So I'm not saying be all over him. Like I heard a story from one girl who was like, oh my goodness, the other night I was hanging out with this guy and I just kind of wasn't paying attention to what I was doing and I was stroking his arm like he was a cat. And I was like, yeah, that's a little weird. That's like not even yes. flirting. That's just that's weird. 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 So I'm not talking about that, but like even just a little thing, like when we were on one of our dates, he, you reached over and like put your hand so that it was like bumping up against my hand essentially. Uh -huh. And that was like your way of saying like, is she going to move away from that? And if, uh -huh. and I That's didn't point. move back, mm -hmm. I just like left my mm -hmm. hand there. And that was a sign to James like, okay, maybe she does like me. And I think I like put my hand on your shoulder one time or something. Yes. Like mm -hmm. little things like that, especially if you don't do that with other people. Like if the guy's like, wow, I don't mm -hmm. see her like touching the other guy's arm just me, like mm -hmm. that is a sign like, oh, there's something different here. Yeah, and it really, doing that I think is a sign that you're comfortable with someone. Right. You feel comfortable with them. And if you feel comfortable with the guy, I think it's all right to, <laughs> I don't know if I would do it quite like that. 
I would say tip number five is laugh. Everyone loves to feel like they're funny. Yeah. And what they say is really promotes interest from someone else. And a great way to show interest is to laugh. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that you should laugh at everything <laughs> the guy says or does. People or can tell that they laugh. laugh. Yeah. Yeah. But if you really like, if you're if you're if you like a guy, chances are stuff he will say is funny to you. Go ahead and laugh. Mm -hmm. I think that's a great way to show interest and connection. And all of these five tips, they go vice versa. So it's like, you can do it to flirt with a guy and he can also do it to flirt with you. And you never know exactly what the flirting means until you actually have a conversation about it. Mm -hmm. But these are five ways that you can kind of give those clues to help the guy figure out like, mm -hmm. maybe there's something going on here. And comment below your best flirting advice. And I'll see you again next week. Bye guys.